Welcome everyone to our brand new node and this one is a simple ivy vines node perfect for any sort of buildings you might want to add ivy or foliage to and you can see here we used it in our latest courses and to be honest for such a simple node it sure has some impact but just before we jump into this node all the links will be down below and of course if you like this sort of thing then give us a like and subscribe and check out our patreon also, as many of you have been asking, next week we release our latest Geometry Node 4 course, and this will be based on our Stairs and Staircases Geometry Node. And this is a kind of introduction to beginners to Blender 4 and Geometry Nodes. And I will keep you posted about that. Lastly, the Victorian scene will be available for pre-order soon, and is now finished and in course production. Thanks for the support, everyone. It really is so much appreciated. And now with all that said, Let's get on with our Ivy Geometry node. So this one really is a simple node and you can see just out of the back just how nice it looks. First of all then we can have it on EV or it works in cycles as you can see. And the way that you can actually bring it in is you just need to bring in a curve. But first of all I'll show you what you can actually do with it. We've supplied four actual leaves with this but you can actually bring in your own leaves if you have something. And then all you need to do is just click on the actual Ivy come over to the right hand side where you've got your geometry node laid out and then all you need to do is click on the leaf object. So if I click on this one, I can just pick between these different leaves. So I can go for realism if I want, I can go for the uh, red leaves if I want, or finally I can go for the stylized look. Now we've supplied four of them, but again, there's plenty of actual resources with leaves out there and all you need to do is just set it up on an actual, let me just turn this on, on an actual plane like this, or you can just bring the texture in and put it on the plane that we've actually got. The other thing about this is as well, if you go over to your shading and you bring in your own leaf, just make sure that the actual color of the actual leaf, the alpha from the color is actually plugged into the alpha of the principled. It really has been made easy this for Blender 4. Everything just plugs into the right things now and the alpha is really, really easy to use. All right, so now let's go back and actually look at how we actually bring this node in. So all I'm going to do then, I'm just going to put this on material mode. I'm actually going to bring in a curve. So shift A, let's press tab actually, shift A and we'll bring in a curve. And I'll bring in a path for now. So I'm just going to bring in a path up here, pull it up a little bit. And then all I'll do is I'll put proportional editing on, pull it up a little bit over here, pull this one down a little bit. And now I'm going to do is put in my geometry node. First of all, though, let's reset all of our transforms, right click to origin to geometry. And then all I'm going to do is add modifier. Let's bring in a geometry node, click the down arrow, Ivy node, and it really, really is that simple. From there you can actually scale it down if you need to and also from there you're able to actually pull it out now. So if I press E you'll see that it just keeps pulling out like so. We can also as well of course change it on the fly so we can move it around to our heart's desire. Really really easy to use. Now the best thing about this is as you can see I've actually got my node here and if I come over to the left hand side now you can see that we've got one on draw click that on and then just make sure that surface is clicked on over here and then what you can actually do is on your buildings or a plane like this is what you can do you can actually draw it out like so and create tons of tons of uh, ivy like you've seen in the actual demo from there all we can do then is just come in to our actual plane delete it out of the way and there you see you've got beautiful ivy last of all as well we can just come over then and set this to red or something like that and have a beautiful red ivy within our scene and you can see straight off the bat this is what it actually looks like all right i don't want to take too long on this one because i know it is a very simple node but finally though for those out there who actually want to know how we create these nodes this one is a simple one so you should be able to follow this so all i'm going to do i'm just going to pull this up and actually put this in the actual screen now so you can take a screenshot of it hopefully if i press the end button as well so let's just press n hide that out of the way you should be able to see how everything links up and you should also be able to see what these are actually called. So you can see if I come over here, this is how basically everything goes together. So you should be able to kind of join those two together. And I'll also post this in our gum road as well. So you'll have all of that information. So if you're lazy like me and I really am lazy, then you, you can purchase it from the links down below. And if you really want to have a go at this, then you can uh, actually look at what we've done here and actually try and create your own. And it is a simple one to actually get started. 
All right, everyone, so that is our IV geometry node. We have tons and tons of nodes now available, as you can see on the screen, all the way from chains right up to stairs and staircases to palm trees to actual full meadows. I will be bringing a video out very soon of me actually creating a well, a full guide in real time, hopefully, that you'll be able to follow along to with these geometry nodes and build a beautiful well for yourself. But until next time, guys, happy modeling. See you on the next one. Cheers.